Hello, this is Destron here with a quick preview of my PHP SQL high score table. Basically what this extension allows you to do is have an online high score table that can be used in your game as well as used on your website. Now if you follow the quick setup guide you should have a table that already exists that looks just like this. It's pre-populated with an existing 10 name database here. The example itself has two different versions of the example. The original version was this random version here. It basically will generate a unique user ID every time the player starts a game. So every time you start a new game you're going to have a different user ID. I also had a special request to create a version that saved a username and user ID via an INI file and that's what the seamless version is here. When you start the game it will assign the user an ID number and once they achieve the first high score it will also ask them their name and that information will be saved in an INI file so the next time you load the game the user ID and the name will be loaded in automatically for you and it won't ask them that again. The delete INI option here is for testing it'll just simply delete the INI that's created by this seamless mode. So we'll jump right in here to the random mode real quick and you can see here you got some information on the screen it shows you the player's current score, the player's highest score, the highest score available in the leaderboard, the leaderboard ranking, the user ID, and you can see right here this would be their name, but it's set to no one, which defaults to negative four. Now since this is the random mode, they're going to get a different user ID every time this game is loaded. That allows them to put in any kind, any username they want when it comes time to enter the username. Because of that, you can't really get their highest score and you can't really get a leaderboard ranking because they've got a different user ID every single time. But if we hit the up button here, you can see it increases the score. We'll increase it to say 88 there. And if we hit the space button, we're going to jump to the game over screen that allows them to enter their name. I'm going to enter my name here as Destron. And we're going to hit, hit enter. And then you'll get the high score list. Jumping back over here to the PHP table, we'll refresh the high score thing here and you can see Destron has been inserted with a high score of 88. So we're going to close out of that now and we're going to F5 to rerun it. Now I'm going to hit the delete INI here just in case I had an existing one and then we're going to jump into the seamless mode and again right now it looks the same you've got a score of zero high score not available leaderboard tie scores 350 leaderboard ranking not available user ID this is now static you'll have that user ID every time you start the game and we don't have a username yet because we haven't collected it so again we're going to bump up the score here go a little higher this time maybe 141 then we're going to hit space and it's going to ask us a name I'm going to enter my name as Destron2 and we'll hit enter to submit that. Again, updated the high score list here. There's my previous score, there's my new score. Bring this table back over here. Refresh and you can see they've both been inserted. We got Destron2 at 141 and Destron at 88. And we're going to close that. Hit F5 to run her again. And go back into the seamless mode and now you can see my name is already saved, Destron2. User ID remain the same. Now it can pull that my leaderboard ranking is 5 and my high score is 141. So all that information is being pulled from the database now because I have a static user ID. This whole extension is based on user ID, not username. And it's set up that way because realistically two different people might have the same username but they should never have the same user ID. Now this version of the example allows a person to submit as many scores as they want. But there's actually two versions of the insert script here. There is a insert record M and an insert record S. We're using the insert record M, which allows multiple inserts. 
There's also insert record S, which only allows a single insert. So a single user ID can only insert one score, so their previous score will get overwritten every time they submit a new score. This is a good way to keep your database clean, but the multiple is a good way to keep track of all scores the user has submitted, which is more in line with old school games where a person could dominate a whole leaderboard and their name could take up all ten positions if they were really that good. The single insert is more of a leaderboard type style where a player could only have one position on the leaderboard and only their highest score is going to appear. So how you use this is up to you. It also has room for added functionality if you want to add more columns to the database and collect a little bit more information. If you have the skills to do that then that's possible. But that's just a simple look at how the extension works in real time so you can get an idea of what you can do in your game.